Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lo-Fi. This time I wanted to explore neon effects in SVG. I saw the Blur album cover for Magic Whip and thought it would be cool to try and animate that somehow. So we've got the sauce here flashing on and off, the little red section in the middle. That wasn't too hard, that was just a little bit of a CSS animation. What I found hardest was trying to get the actual neon glow working around these strange shapes. I knew we could do box shadow in ordinary CSS and I was wondering if we could do it for SVGs and their different shapes, but we can't. Let's have a look at that and I'll show you then how I found the solution. So if we take an ordinary div with an ID of box and just some simple styles, it's got a background color, it's got a width, a height, and a little bit of margin so we can see it nicely. We can just really simply put on a box shadow, set some offsets, then add some blur, no pun intended, and then a little spread, and then we could change the color to something in English. And we would have a little bit of a glow. We'll make the spread a little bit smaller. And we kind of have the right effect. But if we were to do the same in an SVG, so we have to give it a few bucks. Really can't spell today. And inside it, we put a rectangle. We'll give it an ID of box. We need to give it a width and a height. So we'll give it a width. We may as well put it all the way across. And a height the same as our box above. We'll give it five pixels. So we can see our box, well that might be a bit big when it's stretched. We can see the box, but we don't have the box shadow around it. So how can we get around this in SVG? I did a little bit of Googling and found out that there are different effects you can put on SVG. I found this brilliant fiddle that I'll, I'll link to in the show notes. You can see we have exactly what we're after here. And it's these filters. And I was going to kind of walk through this, but it might be a bit dense. So let's pull it out and look at it in our, our little pen here. So if I copy in the code that we saw, actually that might be a bad one to grab. I'll grab the purple one. We won't be able to see the white on white. And then we need to just pull out this filter. Again, the purple one. And there we have our purple glow working slightly. We can improve this as we go. But let's have a look at what's happening here and maybe set a fill here of red. We'll try and replicate the, the box above. So there's a lot going on here, but there are really only three things you need to look at. There's the flood color, which is essentially what we have here, the color we want our blur to be, our neon glow. That piece is done. And then if we wanted our blur setting, we literally have a dilate here, I believe is the one that will replicate blur. So if you amp that up to 20, we'll see that that's, that's how far it's coming out. So we're coming out 20 and then starting to blur. So maybe we'll leave that at like five. And then I had it wrong, the Gaussian blur. I should have seen that would have given it away. If we amp that up 
you'll see it nearly obliterates it but if we bring it way down the blur effect is much smaller so now we can start to control how much of a blur we have going on here and this is all that I've used you'll see that the blur isn't all the way around this box that's just because it's right up the top of the SVG but this is all I've used here to get this pen working if I go to the actual pen if I just hit pen here it'll bring me back you'll see we have several of these filters we have a blue one a green one, a yellow one, white one, red one you can look through these yourself and then just a lot of paths and rectangles there's, there's nothing else tricky happening here and we get this whole effect and there you have it that's all there really is to it to get a, a neon glow working on an SVG you just need a filter to add that filter in the style of the SVG and just to look at these the Gaussian blur standard deviation morphology radius and the flood color and you'll be able to recreate whatever kind of glow you're looking for thank you for watching lo-fi codes if you have any feedback or thoughts about this video please leave a comment below if you like what you saw please subscribe for a new video every friday or check out another video here.